I've bought two new engines that will be helping out with the summer season. I got them from a miniature railway that closed down a few weeks ago and most of the engines are being sold off and so I bought a green tender engine and a blue diesel engine. That means I will no longer be the only diesel on this railway. Eh, uh, Frank. Aren't you forgotten about Sick of the Austere and the Blissos Twins? Well, I must have forgotten about them. When will we be meeting them, sir? Well, there are Osberg Yards waiting to be unloaded, so I would like you to greet them and show them the shed once they've been unloaded. Right, sir. And the engines puffed away to meet the new engines. Either I'm blind, or did someone shrink City of Churro? It kind of looks like that. Hello there, I'm Dean and this is Eddie. I was built for a little railway in 2002 and I was based off of City of Churro. Nice to meet you, Dean and Eddie. My name is Jock, and this is Frank. And over there is Rex, Bert, Mike, the Cigarette of Arsdale, and the Blitzer Twins. Nice to meet you guys. I see this railway has more than one diesel. I know. Were you the only diesel on your old railway? Yes, we used to work on the railway close by the sea. was outstanding and the passengers really enjoyed it. Then what happened? Sadly, hard times came. Our controller passed away last month. We all hoped that his brother would be able to take place as manager, but unfortunately, he had no plans for taking his role as he had another job elsewhere and the railway had to close down. On the day before it shut down, me and Gilbert, an engine who was based after Ducks class, double-headed the last train. A lot of people came to see us one last time and bid their farewells. After that, we all thought we were going to be locked up in the shed until the end of time. Or worse, scrapped. But thankfully, most of the engines were sold off and we were bought by your small controller. Well, I hope you like it here. Thank you, and I am sure I will. Later, Eddie and Dean were sitting in the shed after being unloaded when Eddie's driver came up. Come on, Eddie, we need to collect a special special at the green. Right, sir. 
At the green, he was coupled up to a train of flatbeds and some vans. Do you know what's inside those trucks? Yes, they are some garden gnomes to decorate Arlsberg West for the springtime festival in a couple of days. Plus, I heard garden gnomes bring good luck. Hmm, I see. And Eddie rolled away. On his way, he saw Mike and Bert delivering a train of food for this festival, and he told them about his special special that he had been given to do that day. Hey guys, I've been given a special special. Enough with the Sharon Miller references already, jeesh! This is your first time playing tricks for you, Eddie? Yes, back on my old railway we mostly pulled passenger trains, so this makes a nice change. I see. And besides, I prefer trucks over coaches, but do be careful as they can be troublesome. That night, while all the engines were fast asleep in the sheds, two people sneaked into the yard. Right, now that's movie night after way. All I need to do is have a bath and then off to bed. Huh? What's that? Hold on. What are they doing at this time of night? The next morning, as the engines were getting ready to leave for work, the station master arrived. Has anyone seen my gnomes? I woke up this morning only to find that they weren't there. Eddie was shocked. Not those new ones that I've just delivered yesterday. He told the Blitzer twins all about it. That must be the work of the naughty gnomes. What are they? Little fat men with big feet that make strange things happen. It's legendary. They steal your wheels and pinch your horn. I don't believe you. It's our turn to stay on guard tonight, Eddie. Oh, yes, uh, why not? Beware of the naughty gnomes, Eddie. Pack it in, you two! That night, all the engines were fast asleep in their sheds, except Eddie. Maybe I will show the Blitzer twins that they're both wrong. Ooh, this is a bit spooky. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea, Dad? I mean, what if we get caught? Ah! What was that? Look! There's the thieves! Stop! Right there. What are you doing? Stay away from those gnomes and no one gets hurt. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me, you were stealing those gnomes. Uh, stealing? Actually, no. Me and my dad were just taking them to his workshop because they had some paint chips in them. Eddie knew he had made a mistake. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know you were only repairing them. But why were you doing it at this time of night anyway? Well, so that they would look as good as new for tomorrow for the springtime festival. That's why. Oh, I'm sorry for thinking that you were stealing them. Oh, that's all right. Early the next morning, they arrived at the station master's house with the gnomes. Have you seen those garden gnomes? I was in need for them for this festival today. Well, we've got them all right here. We spent all night fixing them as... Either they had some paint missing, or certain broken bits that we had to replace. 
Wow! They look even better than before! I'd better get the station ready in time for the festival! In no time at all, the stations were ready in time for the festival. And it was such a huge success. Wow, the station looks fantastic! You are right, driver. Naughty gnomes can be lucky after all.